Just a friendly reminder that the opinions expressed on this show are not worth a Canadian penny, so disregard anything you hear that might get anyone in trouble. And despite some of the great ideas you may hear, don't try them at home. Go to friend's house instead. It's time to get a gun. That's what I've been thinking. Well, I could afford one. And if I did just a little less drinking, time to put something between me and the sun. Get a gun. Hello and welcome to episode 186 of Slam Fire Radio for December 23rd, 2016. I'm one of your hosts, Adrian Michaud. I'm another one of your hosts, Kelly Lynn. I'm another one of your I hosts, am. Trevor Furlot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> Great. Groot's a new addition. I uh, don't know if yeah. he'll be saying too much, but uh, he does I need a shave. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> we you didn't really talk about when you're going to do that. Are you going to do that at the uh, uh, at the start or kind of at the main event kind of a thing? I, I, he's on his phone, what? as you can clearly see. He, he, we were asking you when you're going to start shaving your legs. Oh, I don't know. Should I start now? Whenever you want. Take yeah, your time. It could yeah. be like a constant thing as we're kind of just going along here. But uh, maybe just to uh, get us going here, uh, Matthew, what did you do in guns? I did a lot of reloading. And by a lot of reloading, I mean I didn't do any reloading, really. I did a lot of brass prep. So I'm still uh, full-length resizing and trimming and deburring and chamfering. I guess I did, I did, I did 20 rounds of actual reloading. So I've got, uh, I've got some ammo loaded up for the PAR. But I haven't done any shooting. And um, I've been practicing dry firing because I just did it now. There. <laughs> so tell me, how do, you, how do you feel about brass prep? I, oh, I hate it. It's I've been doing awesome. it while I watch movies. So it sucks, Ju- right? Jewel and I will watch a movie and I'll have the I'll just have it down on my lap and I'm just doing it away as we watch a movie or I'll be up here on the computer doing the same thing. Just it's so mundane. It's like uh anyway, it needs to be done, so I do it. Apparently my Facebook's been hacked again. That's why I apologize. I'm on my phone. It's blown up with people telling me that my Facebook was hacked again. It's like the third or fourth time in in a, in a month and a half. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I keep all the porn that you've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> I would I could use that as an excuse. <laughs> no? He only does that on his work computer. Safer that way. That's yeah, right. that makes sense. Yeah. That's a good way to get uh, fired, actually. True. Yeah, yeah, for sure. IT support, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh, well. Was well, so that all you did in guns? guns? Yeah, that's basically all I did. Um, I, I don't know who's next, so I'm going to pick Kelly. Kelly, what'd you do in guns? Uh, what did I do in guns? Absolutely nothing. Uh, no, not really. I didn't go to the range again. Sorry. I, uh, yeah, didn't go to the range this week. What we did do is yesterday, day before, I got a message saying that I have been approved to be on uh, the Frontenac uh, range membership. Oh, so cool. I got to, yeah, so I got to go on the 29th now to do the orientation for all the new members and uh, do a, um, oh. A shoot with rifle and also handguns, so to show that I'm actually. Wow, they don't mess around, do they? Anybody. They actually yeah. like make you shoot guns to. Yeah, to make sure that I'm safe. What if you're <laughs> better than they are? Do oh, they, 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 they reject mad. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, you do a 25 meter um, shoot with a rifle, and it's a 1022, so it should be okay. And then also pistol in the pistol house. Do you have to bring your own gun, or do they provide a gun for you? I, they will provide a rifle, um, but not a pistol. So oh. make sure, make sure as you're shooting, you're like you're pushing the bullets out to give yes. them a little bit of extra velocity. Well, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> really, really it's not it. working here. Here. <laughs> Anyways, no, I gotta go and do that. So that's good. It's good to know that I'm I'm now officially a member. And what else did I do? Oh, yeah, planning talking with Tim Crosno. We're going to be going down to Waco. You guys knew that and uh, just all the things that we're going to be doing. So we're going to be spending a few days there, not just at the um, boot camp, uh, learning about uh, Appleseed, but we're also going to be going around um, Texas and seeing all the sites in that too. Maybe we can take in the Alamo and different things like that. Just don't go shooting hogs without me. Yeah, that's not allowed. No, I said no. Uh, (laughs) And it's supposed to be 16 degrees in January. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty nice. It got up yeah. to minus 10 here the other day, and I was like, wow, it's nice out. <laughs> mm. <laughs> T-shirt weather. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. This is so, such a bad idea. Are you starting, Trevor? You need to uh, You need to put your your camera on. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll lock it on. Right. All right, lock it on, Trevor. 
Hey Trevor, did you yeah. exfoliate beforehand? And you know, I, I did nothing. He doesn't know what that even means. I don't even know what exfoliate no means. Like, Christina was like, "You need to take a warm bath." Blah blah blah. I'm like, <laughs> listen to the woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we have anybody watching? Yeah. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, there's viewers. Oh man. Oh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you bought a whole bunch of razors. <laughs> yeah. So I did come prepared for this. Were you done, Kelly? None watching. Uh, yeah, pretty much. You know, <laughs> fine, whatever. Everybody's just tuning in to see you shave your legs, anyway. So, <laughs> whatever. Well, we can watch it as you're talking. Well, yeah, I'm going to talk about what I did this week in guns. We're not all going to stop what we're doing to watch this travesty. <laughs> watch all, all. Watch you jam up those razors and have to throw them away and get oh, new ones. Ever jamming up? This is ridiculous. <laughs> you need like a cloth or something to wipe it off on or something. I need steel wool. <laughs> so, all right, is my turn? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, were you done? Like, like you can finish your stuff off. Yeah, no, yeah. pretty much. I didn't go to the range. I uh, got accepted at Frontenac, and I'm going to go and do that. And going to go and to Texas with uh, Tim Crosno. And the other thing is to uh, we're officially Maple Seed is uh, happening, guys. Cool. We're, awesome. We're we're registering it. Uh, we're, we've got the web page designed. We've we're even uh, looking into insurance and everything, so it's official. Is this supposed to burn? A little bit, yes. Is how would you know? I have no idea. <laughs> I was really directing that more towards Kelly. <laughs> I was just hoping okay. that we would make this a normal thing, so that even even though if, if it wasn't supposed to burn, you would just think that it was supposed to burn, and you could. Just well, carry it's on. burning. All right. <laughs> so, who's ever uh, polite society podcast? Hey. So hey. 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 So I don't know. <laughs> Why aren't you using a straight razor, Trevor? Uh, He's scared he'd amputate his leg knife. accidentally. I don't own one. You don't own a buck knife? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to my benchmate here for a bit though. Sure, do that. Does it work? No, I lent it to somebody and I got it back incredibly dull. Uh, mm. you should never lend a knife. It sucks. So I wonder if that's Paul or if that's um um Susan. What do you think? They could comment and find out. And we could find could out. Could be both. Could yeah. Be. And I'm going to go ahead right now and just apologize to all those people who are listening to this podcast later, not as a live event. <laughs> we're sorry, but it it's much Trevor, funnier if you out. actually watch the video. Because <laughs> 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 we're going to be all of a sudden commenting on video that you're going to have absolutely no idea what's going on. Basically, Trevor's shaving his legs. Well, this yeah. will be on, on – no, it won't. Will it go to YouTube? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So Same people have the opportunity, right. but people who are driving down their car, you know – Yeah. Driving well, they down could the go, car, driving down go the see road, it yeah. later, right? They Trevor, it's slow. Slow? Slow. Yeah. Like, slow. No, no, no. Everything is a contest. Everything is a race. Whoever finishes first wins. Tactical You're... leg shave. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. There's a record. You're going to beat it. <laughs> is there? Look it up. <laughs> Fastest time to shave your legs. 18 <laughs> seconds. Well, you've lost. <laughs> All right. On to what I did. Sure. Yeah. So uh, I went on my annual pilgrimage to Fredericton to hang out with uh, Filthy to go see Star Wars. But uh, more Pretty importantly, good, eh? huh? Pretty good, eh? Best movie I ever. Saw it twice within a week. Huh? Yeah. No, no. I don't, seen don't. It yet. It's Me it's either. amazing. So you have to go see it. Even if you don't like Star Wars, you'll love it. Um, but Friday night, Filthy had my TAC 21 308 waiting for me. Thankfully, he did not mount it into an M14 stock like he promised he was going to do on Facebook. <laughs> so um, we went out Saturday morning. Snuffleupagus came to Fredericton 2 and also came into a movie. Like, it's not even cutting anymore, Kelly. What do I do? I change the blade? <laughs> Get a new one. Seriously? You, you Already? 13 of them, so. No, yeah. I got uh, 17. All right, well. So, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you're, you're going you're, yeah, you're to cut yourself there. Cool. Isn't that what the viewers are hoping for? Um, <laughs> yeah. So if there yeah. isn't blood by the end of this, I'm going to be disappointed. You need to remove the hair out of it, or just change the lid. Well, yeah, I'm kind of getting the hair out of it a little bit, but it's so long and thick and, and like it's like Wookie like. So how long so has it been since you last shaved your legs? Uh, this is probably the first time ever. <laughs> well, Even when probably. I dressed up as a girl once for Halloween when I was 14, I, I didn't shave them. And uh, anyway, I looked so good. As a girl, so my mother did us all up, makeup and stuff. And uh, I was at a party, and one of the parents was staring at me. And I'm like, if it wouldn't be for the voice and the legs, you'd have no idea, would you? <laughs> you just seen the look. They were floored. Anyway, so I got the TAC-21 put back together. And then Saturday morning, 
the Squire, Filthy, and Snuffleupagus. We all went to the range. And what did I bring? I brought my 930, hoping I could test fire it for the first time. But I forgot that when I cleaned it, I just grabbed Frog Lube and threw Frog Lube in there. A surprisingly little amount, and it just locked her up. There's a video on Filthy's wall that I shared to my wall of me hitting the bolt release, and the bolt is moving forward in like it like, takes like five <laughs> seconds to camper around. No, that's that normal. Video, You're just in bullet time, Trevor. You didn't realize <laughs> that video got two thousand views in one day. Wow, <laughs> that was crazy. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. So Filthy's like the internet makes no sense. Sometimes I put in the effort to put out really funny videos that get four likes <laughs> or four views. And this thing's got 2,000. All right. First blade is definitely done. All right. Um, You're like almost half done your first leg, aren't you? Not bad, eh? Yeah, that blade had a hard life, so. Yeah. So, so we do have our first wish in for Christmas. We have it for We're not Bob. there yet. That's the main topic. Just hold on a second. We want Paul. Paul wants to say all he wants for Christmas is Trevor to get an arterial bleed on camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit much. I hope Brian Sheets is by with a tourniquet. So... Um, so the uh, 930 didn't want to run because of the cold and the uh, – like it was minus 23 when we left for the range because Canada, right? Luckily, we were able <laughs> – some of us were able to drive all the way in. Some of us not driving in Subarus got stuck, Snuffleupagus. I guess his traction Subaru's control is imaginary. So, you can um, have all the traction control you want. If you've only got two-wheel drive, you're going to get stuck. Exactly, and that's what happened. I didn't know they made Matrixes in front-wheel drive only. So anyway, the 930 – Obviously, it was a no-go, but the um, I brought down some ammo and shot the TAC-21. Took about five or ten rounds to kind of like, I don't know, break the throat in or something. But by the end, I shot a ten, ten-shot group that went all in the same hole. So, cool. um, yeah, he did a great job. And I had um, some pieces of Lapua brass left over from the original batch that were cracking in the previous chamber. And obviously, they didn't crack because it's a brand new chamber. Yep. He had to set the... Uh, the barrel back in the action only a, by a quarter of an inch so it worked out great that's not bad yeah and then this week i ripped apart my versamax because i placed an order to brownells for some new parts a new uh, shell catch out of the versamax tactical because mine that was drilled and tapped for an extended bolt release broke i think i see if muffin can weld it so i'll have a spare but i ordered the one out of the remington tactical because it already comes drilled and tapped and I ordered a competition shell lifter, so that came in. I installed that yesterday. Still waiting on the other parts. And then I received a wonderful package. I got a, a Christmas card from a listener, Wes, and uh, uh, it's not uh, Carolyn. Corinne? Corinne? Corinne. Corinne? Corinne. Corinne? Corinne? Uh, Corinne. Corinne. Right. Yeah, we got yeah, one, so, too. Boy. I'm yeah, but so- I know. Oh, sorry. God. I know that your Christmas card didn't contain the extra special package that mine did. I'm sure it didn't, and I'm happy for that. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. So mine had a little extra, some, some little bag of something, a little bag of anatomy pieces. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. Did. Yeah. And then I got a th- two, two 3D printed match savers and a um, printed 50 cal bullet. That's right here that I got from Adriel. And also a pair of underwear. So that was awkward. <laughs> Thanks for that, Adriel. Well, it's what? supposed to be for this show. Come on. <laughs> I was going to put that on with an eagle's beak right in the... <laughs> yep. That's the in, point. In this area, look, you got a picture of me wearing it. That's enough. <laughs> that was that was too much, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Did you post that me. for everybody? No, I most certainly did not. No. If you share oh, it with anybody, on. you're in trouble. <laughs> going in so. the, it's going in the calendar. <laughs> you're going in the calendar. Oh, Kelly, I'm really not liking you too much right now. The back of my calves <laughs> is kind of difficult to get to, but uh, no blood. So yeah, Adriel. Lame. What did you do? Yeah. All right. I'm going to show some stuff here. So as interesting as it is with you uh, shaving your legs there, I'm just going to... Well, we can come back when I get to the other leg. Yeah. We'll pop it back here. You're presenting to everyone. Cool. Okay. So I got some cheap and cheerful combo locks from China. Sweet. I think they were 10 (laughs) bucks for three. So I got a pile of them. Nice. Uh, and I ordered some patches for uh, for the people on Patreon and just for like some of us to have some extras to give away and that kind of thing. So they'll be about that big. They'll be about like a two inch by two inch square. Um, this is like a four by two that I'm doing for for our three gun club. But I'm getting some two by twos for us because we've got a uh, kind of like a square logo. And I, I kind of prefer having 
a smaller square that'll fit better on a vest or something like that because a lot of the times when you see the the little velcro patches that you attach these to there's lots of space on them that you just can't use with a bigger patch so these will be a smaller one we also ordered some uh, vinyl stickers so the vinyl stickers should be like pretty durable and uh should stick to stuff i guess and they're gonna look like that so that's the uh Awesome. That's the look. I don't know how that's going to look at like embroidered or whatever. They might have to go with a, like a simpler view, but uh, that's the general idea. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's my is. shotgun, by the way. Is it? That's, yeah, that's my shotgun. shotgun. But back yep. when I used to have a pistol grip stock on it, I took that off right quick. <laughs> when Matthew says he owns the logo, he kind of does in a way. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> no, I own the shotgun. I don't own the logo. The logo is all of ours. Oh, I know, but it's your shotgun faster. and you made it. Yeah. Shave faster. Well, hopefully uh, hopefully we don't change that logo because I ordered, I ordered 300 of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> that I just came up with a new one. <laughs> <laughs> don't hate the logo anytime soon because I don't want to order more. <laughs> but, well, uh, maybe we can give it out to some people well, like when we do the charity shoot and all that. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, like whenever we're, we're giving away free swag or whatnot, we'll have a bunch of stickers and, uh, and patches to give away. So spread it around. That. More swag. Oh, it was a killer deal, so I had to uh, add orders more. So that's pretty oh, much uh, wow. all I was Why up to. Why haven't I done this before? <laughs> <laughs> you like it, huh? Dude, check that out. It's I... kind of freeing, isn't it? Shows the scars pretty good, too, and chicks dig scars. Wait that's till you go I outside, though. Home base once. Go outside. Go outside. You know go how outside. when you shave your beard and your face feels cold? Oh, I, I have know. a feeling this is going to be similar. Never my beard. Yes, you have. <laughs> Just splash some uh, aftershave on your legs now. Oh, oh is yeah. that good for it? <laughs> yes, it is. It makes it feels makes it Thanks. feel better. Oh, yeah. okay, because they feel really good. They're not really burning or nothing. <laughs> they will. Oh, I be. forgot. Almost forgot. Okay, just jump back here for one second. Oh yeah, you're still on base here. There we go. Uh, yeah. What? Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, oh, there's, there's, there's nice. This guy. There's the right hand side. Make sure I'm not hitting the roof. Okay. <laughs> and there's there's the pistol there. Now I had one listener ask if this would actually work, and it will because the slide will cycle. It's got like one of these uh, mounts that goes around, like attaches to the pick reel there, and then yep. goes around to here. Right. And yeah. There we go. I cannot wait to see this thing in action. We need awesome? video. Yeah. Yeah. You're muzzling the listeners. <laughs> You're muzzling know. the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am. That oh, is awesome. gross. You should see the hair pooling in the bottom of this thing. It looks like a kitten drowned. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh, I might be ready for another one. That, look at that. Is the camera picking that up? Can no, you see that? thankfully no. it's not. It looks like I've got a mouse on a blade. <laughs> uh, uh, Kelly, did you want to talk about the uh, CCFR Gunny Girl calendar? Yeah, so it is out. It has been officially delivered. I see people actually posting pictures of it as well. So we have some amazing ladies on it. If you want it, it's $25. All the funds go towards the ladies program that's going to be coming out in the new year for the CCFR, the Canadian Coalition for Firearms Rights. So, yeah, all proceeds help uh, get a women's program up and running, get more ladies into the sport of shooting. And yeah, just go to the Canadian Coalition for Firearms Rights to their website and go to the store and right on the front page there it is the calendar. And yeah, I don't think if you order it now, it'll be in time for uh, Christmas because, you know what? Christmas yeah, isn't too far away. <laughs> that's, yeah. 20 yeah, that's this weekend. It's yeah. in Kelly, three days. What? Do any of those ladies listen? Yeah, actually they do. Oh, okay. All right. I just want to. It's important just to know to that know before what I can, yeah. <laughs> say stuff. Yeah, they do. I always post Good on point. the women's site as well. So for yes, some they do. reason, I'm sure it's just pure coincidence, but all of a sudden I just really like the month September. You know, I think it's now my new favorite month and favorite time of year. Yeah. Okay. Same. Anyways, thanks for sharing that. Well, all of those months. Yeah. I will oh, never yeah, meet her. Fine. Yeah, you will. Of course you will. Not likely. Uh, AGM. Dreams dreams do come true, Trevor. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, um, I can't go to the AGM. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have said that on the air then. Uh, <laughs> so, I need yeah, more just, cream. <laughs> I don't want to know. Not that. working. You know what you really should do? 
You should get What's some that? shaving lotion. Are you shaving? Um, what is it? Aftershave and put it on afterwards. It'll make Yo, it- that's what they told me. Yeah, I've got some on standby here. <laughs> Sweet. No. We'll uh, wait for yeah. the uh, Kevin from Home Alone moment here. Oh. So, <laughs> just yeah, just go to the CCFR page and go in and order those because, as I said, you know it's going to help uh, get women into the sport of shooting. So, yep, that's it. Cool. cool. All right. All right. I'm good to go to upcoming events? Sure. Sure. All right. The seventh annual uh, Canadian Podcasters Charity Shoot is Saturday, July 8th, 2017 at the Guelph Rod and Gun Club. It is confirmed. Uh, the Canadian Patriot Podcast is this year's host, and the charity of choice, choice is Many to One. That's many dash two, the number, dash one, the not number, the letters, <laughs> dot org. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would just like to give those guys a huge shout out because when the podcast charity shoot started, there was only one. It was just Canadian Reload Radio. And here we are uh, seven years later, and we've been able to have it hosted by three different Canadian podcasts. So good for them for stepping up and good for Canadian podcasters for, you know, stepping up and creating content week after week and joining the uh, the podcast community. Um, who knows in seven years Maybe we'll get to the point where it's a different podcast, you know, several years in a row. Do you think we'll still be shaving our legs on air uh, seven years from now? Uh, dude, look, if, if we're not, we've done some bets. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if we're not, then, we've yes. done something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No. You know, yeah. yeah. So, who knows? So, Kibro, Kibro says he has the weirdest boner right now. <laughs> <laughs> Kibro, all your boners are weird, dude. Uh, uh, and hi, Tim Crosno. He uh, wanted to say hello. He's listening. Uh, isopropyl alcohol works great, he says. And lemon Noted. juice. Christina, lemon I need juice. some scotch. Oh, wait. He said <laughs> isopropyl. Never mind. <laughs> kind of close. <laughs> All and right. Paul? The next one. Uh, sorry. Go ahead, Kelly. Sorry. Paul just wanted to know if you're going to start wearing uh, yoga pants now. <laughs> Lululemon catalog. Here I come. They're so comfortable, though. But this time for shopping. <laughs> They're very comfortable, you know. I'll take your word for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not sure if I'll ever know. Uh, the Got Your Six Charity Shoot. Uh, this is our second annual precision rifle competition, July 22nd to 23rd in Edson, Alberta. Uh, funds raised goes towards the War Horse Awareness Foundation. You can get more information at gotyoursixshoot.com. And finally, the SummerSlam XI. I think that's 11, right, Trevor? Z. Yeah. It's pronounced Z. Z? Yeah, X- SummerSlam Z, right? Z? Z? Summer, Z? SummerSlam Z. The... Restaguchi uh, Gun Club in Bulmoro. <laughs> I can't believe you got that right in the first try. Uh, he's on his phone, so he's not hearing. Or maybe he's just like wearing what's I heard it. He's ignoring. I'm, I'm getting, again, everybody's sending me messages about me being hacked again. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, I think you got hacked. Yeah. I haven't seen anything, but I'm sure you got hacked. <laughs> I haven't seen anything. Yeah. But I know you got hacked. Uh, SummerSlam 11 will be a level three uh, something or other. Level three uh, uh, three gun match? Level three. It's, it's just a uh, like match. Like, just read it. Like, it's all there written correctly. Just read it. Don't read it all. Uh, it's more fun to bug you. Yes, uh, this will be 16 stages, approximately 300 rounds. There will be 14 squads of 10. Uh, registration night will be August 4th, and the match will be August 5th and 6th. Uh, Smoke in the Water is doing food again, so there will be some great food out there. Banquet will be on the 5th again. Uh, Guys, possibility... I have to interrupt, Adriel. Yeah. We just received another $100 donation for tonight. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. really? Mr. Aww. Uzi. Mr. Uh, really? Yep. Awesome. Thanks, Thomas. Thomas. Amazing. Sweet. He's amazing. Yeah, definitely. Um, where were I here? The cost will be for this uh, Supper Slam will be $160. $150 paid through EMT. Registration opens January 9th. And lastly here, we have uh, CAPS Use of Force Training. This will be $400 plus applicable taxes. Training course will be with Dave Young, October 14th and 15th in Dalhousie, New Brunswick. You can go to caps-training.com forward slash sign up to register. Or CAPS Training will, will probably get you there. Uh, there will be 15 seats total, or then there's only 12 left. So this must be new? Yep. This uh, The course went live just a couple of days ago. We're going to have Dave Young back on to talk about it just like last time. Um, 
to describe, you know, what it is. It's not a, it's not a shooting course per se. It's all the legal aftermath and legalities of when you're involved in a self-defense situation. And, um, so that's the, that's the most important aspect here. Think of it as a mag 40 and a mag 20, where you can take a mag 20 range course or a mag 20 legal course. This would be the equivalent to a mag 20 legal course, but we are going to do, I believe, uh, simulations with his laser training program, but I'll let Dave explain that more. So, Yes, it just went live October 14th and 15th. 12 seats left, $400 plus tax. Of course, McClatchy and I will be there. And, um, yeah, we hope to see as many people from far and near as possible to sell it out. Awesome. I think I'm done. <laughs> cool. I don't know. What do you Your think? legs all, like, shiny new here? Yeah. Looks good to me. All right. Thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. That was the whole point, right? Just to watch you shave That's your it. legs. Yeah. Now that we're done. Shave my legs and pr- promote caps. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you going to do it like above the knee? No. No. Mm. Most women don't even do above the knee. I ain't doing above the knee. Kelly, I, I think you can you can ask for above the knee if you want no, to. No, she can't. We all, we <laughs> said a long time ago it was knee down. No, we didn't. I said legs. <laughs> no, 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 no. Forget it. Well, this one uh, I got to get a little closer to. What do the viewers say? Yeah, we should ask the viewers. What about. Pat Pat wants to know what about the upper legs? Mm. What about the upper Tracy, legs? Tracy just joined us and she missed half of it because she had to drive uh, the skinny kid to the gym. So Tracy <laughs> knows what it's like to shave legs. <laughs> all right. Kelly's right. Shave it all. Of nope. course I'm right. We never Kelly. said anything about above the knee. I stipulated below the knee. I'm pushing it there. I'm right at the kneecap. <laughs> Stacy <laughs> says shave it all in capital letters. Oh, not on air, please. Don't go that high. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. I'll have to set YouTube to an R rating or something like that. Man, my yeah. legs are ugly. There's a reason why people grow hair. Cover all the dents. In my... Except for right here. This is really nice. This is like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why chicks do it now. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna pull up this next uh, news item here. I and might hopefully... have to take up cycling or something. Do I have an excuse? <laughs> Swimming. One? So when we're shaved their legs, you know that, right? Uh, for, uh, as well as every other, their head, their, anyways. yep, go ahead. They do wax do, it all. Do people that ride quads do that? Because if so, I'll buy a quad. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need smooth legs to drive a quad. I mean, that really helps with the aerodynamics and the air resistance and whatnot. Yeah. I thought so. You yep. don't get as many burrs. Yeah, hardly nice. any. <laughs> Anybody want to see a picture of the water? Oh, I think we do. Here, let me swap back to you here. No, no, I got. I got to take a picture with the phone here. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Take a picture, and then if you've got like Google Photos or something like that, pull it up on your computer, and we'll we'll take a peek after. Oh. I'll uh, while you're taking a picture of that disgusting thing, I'll I'll uh, show off this uh, new MMP M two point oh. So this is uh, this is Smith and Wesson's new MMP. Uh, it's got a couple of things in it. I think the main one on this is that they they've redesigned the trigger because the the original MMP trigger just wasn't quite. Not wasn't quite. It wasn't as good as the Glocks, and you it was they heavy. Knocked off the Apex trigger. Maybe I don't know. So it now it now has a tactile reset. Uh they're not saying anything like that so far. So this oh. is the version that you're seeing here. This is the one that has like the safety and whatnot. Uh, mm-hmm. You can see it's got some additional scallops on the uh, uh, on the slide. It's got some cutouts that are in the uh, lower uh, area near the Picatinny rail. This area here used to be blank. It didn't used to be stippled. That's stippled now. Um, what else am I missing here? Trigger. And I swear there was one more thing. Oh, a new corrosion-resistant finish that they uh, threw on. And they're going to run uh, uh, four grip inserts rather than three. So Ooh, more Because four is one more. Yeah. But uh, I think the uh, I really liked my MMP. The only thing that uh, I replaced right away was the trigger. Yeah, and that's something you can't do in IPSC. So I think a lot of people don't run them in IPSC because you can't do that. So if this fixes the trigger, you might see a lot more of them in IPSC too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, especially here in Canada, the, the Glock is is a lot more expensive. It's a, it's an expensive pistol. If it was five or six hundred bucks, sure, but. Uh, plenty of these MMPs are available on the used market at least right now for five, five fifty somewhere around there, and uh, you know the Glocks at uh, at eight hundred bucks plus are are just quite a bit more, right? And I don't know why they need to be that much more. They really don't need to be. There's no extra technology. All you're paying for is the name. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, and and the trigger's better than the M and P. So true. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, that's 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 all. That's all. Yeah. But in terms of how much it costs to make a Glock versus how much it costs to make an M and P, it's going to be pretty yeah. close. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're both polymer yeah. striker fired guns. So. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. That's uh, cool. Let me jump back here and just. Uh, what do we got next here? Next uh, item here we have here is Canada in the Rough is back. Who uh, who posted this one? I did. So. Canada and Rough is a Canadian-based uh, hunting TV show with the Beasley brothers after uh, Thomas Pigeon left. I think it was Thomas Pigeon. Anyway, now it's the Beasley brothers. Uh, I believe Chris Anderson knows them, has met them a couple of times. And um, they are going back to a mainstream network, basically. They had kind of been on specialty channels only. So let me just bring up the notes here so I can see what I wrote. Or, Adriel, you can take it from here because my notes are all messed up. With the... well, let's see here. Tier 1, over-the-air Canada Television Network, reading 88%. Back where it belongs. Proud to be airing on City and showing oh, it's gonna be on all city? major cool. Canadian markets. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so because it's on City, we're all going to be able to get it without any specialty channels. Where were they before? Was it they were global before and they got kicked they out? They were global and global. Yeah, Global dumped them because of the uh, they gave in to PETA and the Liberals yeah. and a bunch mm-hmm. of other special snowflakes that need to wear safety pins. Cry arses, as we yeah. would call them around here. <clears throat> Speaking of which, Canadian Tire has recently caved to PETA. Did you guys see that? No. no. They're no longer selling fur products. I don't what? remember ever shopping for a fur coat at Canadian Tire, but whatever. Hmm. Anyway. You can buy guns and go shoot something fur-bearing. Yeah, exactly. That's okay. Isn't almost everything fur-bearing that we shoot? <laughs> well, I'm a little less fur-bearing. Trevor's a little less for bearing now, so Trevor, you probably won't get shot now. Probably, probably. Yeah, I make no promises. Yeah, trust me. When I get shot, it won't be over the fur I wear. <laughs> like to believe so. Uh, Canada and the Rough will continue to air on five other Canadian networks: TVA Sports in French, uh, CHAT, CFJC, CKPG, and Wild TV. Uh, for full channel information, go to CanadaandtheRough.com/schedules. Uh, who's got the RCMP investigate shooting of man in Moncton home? Not me. Uh, I put that in there. So it was an early morning, early morning shooting in Moncton, and then after I looked up the address, there's no story here. It's uh, birds of a feather flocking together, stupid people playing stupid games. So unfortunately, there was a crime committed with a fire, a, a crime committed with a firearm in Moncton. But, but uh, yeah, all right, but not really like. Yeah, it wasn't ra- it wasn't yeah. wasn't random, if you know what I'm saying. Gotcha. <laughs> Understood. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this next one here, I actually noticed on CGN. This is the Calgary Shooting Center. Uh, some some individuals had broken into there earlier. I just want to uh, bring an update. Well, they brought an update on CGN. I just wanted to to kind of uh, rip through it for uh, our listeners and viewers today on air. Um, I'm just going to read their words because uh, I think it sets the story really well. Uh, looks like it's time to update this story. The individuals responsible were arrested very quickly, and trial dates have been set at least three times over the previous years. However, uh, today we were told uh, that uh, where did that get missed? Uh, <laughs> weird. Okay, I'm just going to continue here. <laughs> uh, they they wanted to touch base after hearing from the Crown Prosecutor on the B&E in firearms trafficking uh, matters. So this is uh, some people broke in and and stole some guns. Uh, since the Supreme Court ruling, uh, they're talking about a ruling where you have to uh, you have to have your court trial within a, a timely matter, and uh, they ex- they thought that they they might not get their trial. Or these guys might get off because it wasn't in a timely manner. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I was somewhat relieved to hear that uh, Trahan and Rodriguez were pleading guilty to committing the B and E and also possession of a restricted firearm after the fact, sentenced to three years jail term. Uh, the Crown withdrew the firearms trafficking charges to secure that deal. In the matter of Moore, she pled guilty to possession of a fire, uh, restricted handgun. All of them have been deemed to have time already served as far, far as jail time. Uh, the most frustrating part of this situation is that, was that we were ready to go ahead with a trial in 2015, and Moore derailed it by fire, firing her lawyer on the first day. In recent discussion with the Crown and with the benefit of hindsight, we should have continued on with the trial for Rodriguez and Trahan, Although their defense lawyers would have protested, uh, Moore played the system well and ultimately aided her co- co-accused immensely. Uh, after spending a huge amount of time and effort on the investigation, I'm really disappointed at the result. The system, the system has once again failed the victims, you guys, and has not delivered satisfactory justice. I can only apologize to you for that. Um, 
and then he's talking about getting uh, handguns back to the people that uh, uh, they were had those handguns stolen from them. Um, so basically, last... they they're basically all getting off, right? On, with well, time served, with, with time served, but like in the grand scheme of things, this is a, this is a pretty serious offense. They it is. broke they broke into a gun store. They stole a whole whack of uh, uh, of firearms and. Uh, the, uh, a three-year sentence with one-year uh, uh, time served. I mean, this seems really light for the amount of damage that this could have done. If these guys had gotten away with this, this would have injected, you know, a bunch of illegal firearms, stolen firearms, to, into the uh, uh, criminal community. And think of the damage that could have happened because of this. And they get like a th- uh, 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 it's such a short sentence. This is ridiculous. I agree. That is ridiculous. Yes, it is. Yeah. I mean, when you think of, uh, you know, uh, uh, some of the charges people get for uh, uh, vehicular manslaughter and that kind of thing, and then you look at this, it's like, yeah, not, it, it just doesn't seem right to me. Um, well, it's not right. You know, uh, some, some people who have, um, you know, gotten in trouble with their own firearms have gotten more than this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's, uh, they're clearly, they're there's... communists. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> That much is clear. They're stealing from the Calgary Shooting Club. Of course they are. Yeah. I mean. Anyways. I can't stop. I can't stop touching them. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about his legs. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, the two on the outside. Casey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stephen yeah. Casey is uh, now watching. And he uh, he did want to let you know that everyone apexes their MMPs and stippling. Mm-hmm. And he says, by morning for a lot, we'll have heavily stippled too. <laughs> uh, Steven. Steven is the original sender of the first bag of right. you know what yeah. and it was a year later before he found out that I actually got them because I never told the story they arrived during the charity shoot or the Tommy class or SummerSlam there was a whole pile of people here when the box of uh, you know what arrived and I very quickly just kind of got quiet about it and swept it under the rug and then my buddy's wife found them and she started eating them and a year went by before Stephen heard this story. We were at Andy Shands during the Nationals and uh, or some other match. And I'm telling the story about how I received the bag. And he's like, finally. I said that. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks for thanks for thinking of me. And now you've gotten them again, but you got them from Wes and Kurt. Yeah. And Kurt. Stevens were much bigger. Wes's were just these tiny little things. But Stevens were like these big rubbery things. Just <laughs> if we're keeping score, because everything's a contest. The listeners are, are desperately trying to figure out what it is you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> There's a website you can go to, eatabagablanks.com, and you can anonymously send your friends a bag of stuff. things. Stuff. <laughs> junk. <laughs> junk, yeah. Junk. Eat a bag of junk. It's junk food, all right. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay. Next up, we got some funny gun classified ads. Who's uh, Who's got this one? Uh, I put that in. Um it was a link to, and it's not that it's funny, it's just kind of lame. It's a link to a New Brunswick Kijiji site or um, ad. And the squire sent me this. He's like, look at all this stuff, and it's right down the street from me. So, I mean, the list is long. Like, there's a long list of stuff. But here's what it says Below, components are for sale. Make me make an offer for the entire lot. It's to the magic number, you get it. If you want to know what all this is worth retail before taxes, you'll have to use Google. I'm looking for less than retail. Press has only loaded about 1,500 rounds, and some of the equipment hasn't even been used. So I thought it was cute that he told, you know, you want to buy my stuff, you do the homework, you go look all this stuff up on Google. And then I looked at the picture of the press, and I'm like, man, that looks familiar. I, when I wanted to get into reloading, I subscribed to a channel and would go to a website called theultimatereloader.com, and his channel was called Gavin Tube. And this guy has a very professional reloading room. And he has multiple presses of single stage turrets. Like this is what he does. He reviews reloading equipment. Well, lo and behold, the photograph on this Kijiji head is one of Gavin's presses that he screenshotted and stole off of YouTube. Oh, <laughs> wow. Nice. Yeah. So I, uh, I sent the link to Gavin and it's like, hey, you got your press for sale? Wink, wink. I haven't heard back from him, though. Uh, I did send this guy a message, and I said, can I get a picture of the actual press that you're selling? And he, sure enough, he sent me some photos of a press that does not look nearly as good a condition as the one that he put a photograph up of. So mm-hmm. 
Yeah. yeah. So that's the only one I got this time. Somebody, a listener raised a point that we should be careful which ads we read because last week some of them read like some widow selling off her late husband's guns and we shouldn't pick on that. But I know the source and I've called some of these people. That's not what this is. But yes, uh, it's a good point and we will be conscious to not pick on widows whose husbands died. And I definitely will not go there and try and buy the guns for next to nothing. No, that's just, no. yeah. I would never do that. Everything's right. gone to us. <laughs> Uh, oh, Trevor. Let me tell you guys how I got my mech. Never mind. You don't want to know. <laughs> okay. On that note. Main topic? Yeah. Listeners, <laughs> Christmas wish list. Uh, why don't we take these uh, two at a time? And uh, Kelly, did you want to start and take off the first two? Sure. This is from our Facebook page. So Sticks, hi Sticks. Sticks wants the ammo for the Grand and a custom, or sorry, and a crossbow. So what are you going to do? With don't get a Parker. Okay. And for Red, Red Ranch, hey, uh, for uh, for Santa, I hope his reindeers start and he isn't lactose intolerant. <laughs> so Red I... wants Santa's reindeer to start. Yes. Yeah. And that Santa shouldn't be lactose intolerant. Yes. All right. Correct. Well, that's awfully nice of you, Red, thinking of Santa like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Matthew, did you want to take the uh, next two? Larry wants a CZP10. Larry what's gets a, it. What's a CZP10? Seriously, we talked about this on the show like just last week. It's the new, the one. new It's the new striker fired polymer pistol by CZ. Are you just doing They this don't make striker fired polymer pistols. They it's make steel guns. Leg. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling your extra smooth leg. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't even grip on this thing. You slide right off. I'd slide right off. Like a fireman's pole. <laughs> oh, don't wow. go there, please. No, it's shorter. Dang it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Gross. Uh, Chris... I have shaving cream in the back of my knee. Hmm. Chris wants parts for his 300 pistol Blackout build. pistol. Wow, 300 blackout pistol. That'd be cool. Barrel, gas block, BCG, handguard. So, yeah, he wants parts for his 300 blackout. That'd be a fun pistol to play with. Hey, if we hit and... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, never mind. Hmm. Yeah, they're the same size round yep. as a 5.56. Five, so. <laughs> <laughs> the LAR mag will do just fine. Yes, it will, yeah. That's all you got. It's a Beowulf pistol we need. That's right. Yeah. Trevor, but a Beowulf you, uh... pistol is still an AR pistol, so you can't get a caliber-specific AR pistol. That argument's null and void. Yeah. Huh. Try it, though. Okay. Who's next? Yeah. Trevor. Uh, I'll take the next two from... Uh, this one's from Andrew Wong. He wants a Type 81 or a Savage one, a Savage 10 slash 110 in 338 Lapua. Uh, that's... One or the other, I gotta, I gotta put my nod towards this. If I'm Santa, I'm bringing you the savage. Mm. Yep. And it's Andrew Young. Yeah, it's Young. What did I say? Yeah. Wong. 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 Yeah. Wong? <laughs> close. That's pretty close. Hi, Andrew. Oh Ooh. man, I, I used the Wong name. <laughs> yeah. See what you did there. The so next I... one comes from Filthy, and he wants a Tavor. There's some other stuff he included later on, but Tavor. I thought he wrote Trevor. Uh, Trevor. No, I guess Yeah, not. he wants a Trevor. He wants a smooth legged Trevor. Speaking <laughs> of smooth legged Trevors, I, I know a smooth legged Trevor whose mic is too close to his mouth. Yeah, thank you. I tried sending you a, a message on your phone, but you, oddly enough, are not on your phone, which is weird. I figured you would have gotten that right away, but you didn't. Shh, hold on, I got a, I got a message from Matthew. <laughs> my mic is a tad too close to my mouth. All right. All right. All right. Good He's knowledge. Nice. Uh, the next one here is from New Brunswick Curly. He wants reloading stuff. Used up my gun quota for 2016, Not but 2017. It's, it's it's very specific. It's NB Curly. This is Ipsic alias. It's not New oh. Brunswick. It's simply NB. Okay, NB Curly wants to. Does, does he? Well, live, well if you are in N- what's that, Adriel? Does he live in New Brunswick? He does. Okay. Send him the link. I was just okay. gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> we got a link for you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's Mr. Shriver, uh, Matthew. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, Curly makes sense. Yeah, yeah. All right. Joe Goose wants an Infinity or it's a not Checkmate. Goose, it's Goss. Goss. G O O S is Goss. It is. That's a, yeah. Sorry, that's All how right. it's pronounced. All right, Joe Goss. <laughs> now the new Brunswicker. Yep, he's a cool guy. I like Joe. Yeah. Why well, don't I like we just Curly do first too, names, but... guys. Huh? <laughs> Why don't we just do first names? Okay. Joe G <laughs> wants an infinity or a checkmate. 
but more likely to get a Glock. I'm usually on Santa's uh, naughty list. <laughs> naughty list. There you go. I was like ready to write down the time so I could bleep that, but you that might have it. something to do with Can't being bleep a, on live. Might have oh, something right. to do with being a Montreal Canadiens fan. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, makes yeah. sense. Kelly, did you want to take the next two? Uh, sure. So, uh, where are we at? I Charlie. was on, I was on the uh, Charlie. Yeah, hi Charlie Foxtrot. He wants a Mossberg four six four and and some uh thirty thirty Hornady <laughs> lever. Uh, le- what is that? Lever lever revolution. Lever, lever, lever revolution. There you go. Yeah. Thirty thirty. Okay. Thirty thirty. Thirty thirty. Shoot some deer. Thirty thirty. Yep. Anyways. Uh, Michael B. wants a Desert uh, Tech SRS uh, Covert. I uh, think, think I might have to add some other items to the list, though. Oh, the Desert Tech by itself isn't enough? <laughs> yeah. All right. Who wants Tim Crosno? I think it's my turn, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Crickets. All right. Tim wants reloading equipment. Hey, we have a link for you. So uh, he can use his 300 AAC dies. And Kowalski... Needs a lathe and a mill. Hey, those are pretty cheap. Yeah. You just pick one of them up a Canadian tire. Oh, so, wait, you're American. American tire. Kowalski. Kowalski. He's, he puts out a podcast talking about how he just graduated from gunsmithing school, but doesn't want to. But doesn't want to repair guns. He just wants to build them. He just wants to do the finishing work. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'm a gunsmith, but uh, no, no, don't. I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm not very mechanical. I don't want to repair anything. <laughs> well, maybe Ken, you should. No, I'm just kidding. I'll yeah. blow it for you. I'll uh, I'll refinish the stock, sure, but I, I'm not going to fix it. That'd be silly. No, and th- there's no question. That's his specialty, and that's the area he's going towards. Yeah. He's going to another school next, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty awesome. As Kelly said, congratulations. Yep. He done, he, he done got himself educated. I just thought it was so funny when he said, yeah. I'm a gunsmith, but I don't want to fix guns. <laughs> don't send me your broken guns. <laughs> Unless you just want it yes. to look really pretty when I send it back. <laughs> exactly. Trevor, you got the next one here. Steve. Sure. Steven, uh, he would also like a reloading press. Any reloading press. I don't have one and want to start reloading. So get yourself the Lee turret press. It comes as a kit. It's a great way to start. Even if you just want to do single stage, you will you can do single stage on it. And then you can graduate into using the turret function later. So uh, Mike wants a new range bag. So Mike, I've got one for sale. Send me a PM later and I'll send you pictures of it. As I said on Facebook today. Oh, I'm taking this next one. Adriel, (laughs) our Adriel, wants an official M4 carbine action 30 shot range model rifle with holographic sight and a six position telegraphic stock. You'll shoot your eye out. (laughs) 30 shot range model. That's so, awesome. Dude, an official M4 <laughs> carbine action 30 shot range model rifle. Man, yeah. that was a funny meme. Yeah. So that 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 was off of a uh, Ralphie from a Christmas story. Uh, That's a great meme. movie. It sure is. I'll take the last one too cuz he's a friend of mine. Mark wants a stock 3. He's a wise smart man he is. He actually knows how to read a calendar too. I sent him an email this morning with the registration form for SummerSlam. Uh, 11 and asked them to post it on July 9th, but the registration closed on July 1st. So he was like, <laughs> I'll post it, but I don't think it makes sense. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what did I do now? <laughs> you meant January 9th? I did. Oh, okay. You As got I my registration yes. form already? Yes, I do. Perfect. Good to know. Awesome. Last one, Mario C asked for a. Lever, but not sure what caliber pistol, 357, 45 Colt, or rifle, 3030. Thoughts? A My lever thoughts. pistol? A pistol caliber. A lever action. Oh, pistol caliber. Yeah. yeah. A pistol a caliber. Action. All right. Yeah, if you're going to do cowboy that. action, get it in the same Three. caliber as your pistol. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it's for planking, go 357. It'll be yeah. so much cheaper than 45 Colt. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. And if it's for hunting, go 3030. Mm, no, you'd be or surprised. I'd 45, say 4570. Uh, True. Yeah, well, not, you know, they're really big. Uh, 357 is still very decent for deer. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. Out of a I rifle, mean, you can get some pretty hot 357 loads and get some pretty good terminal ballistics. After um, Doc Weston was talking about this one time, and Ballistics by the Inch did a test, and after 18 and a half inches, there's no more no more gain out of a yeah. 357 out of, out of that rifle. Yeah, but, but you're right. 
for small deer and small game, it's uh, it'll do the job. But a thirty thirty will do it, eh, with a bit more security. So and a forty five seventy will do it. And a fifty yeah. BMG will definitely take down <laughs> that deer. But if he's going to hunt deer from a tree stand and shoot everything inside of forty yards, <laughs> three fifty SKS. Will... <laughs> <laughs> SKS is only reaction. Where it says SKS anywhere in there. I can fix that. No, yeah. don't. Please stop. <laughs> SKS. There you go. A lever SKS. Oh. Uh, so yeah. Filthy has cold. joined us, by the way. Oh, Filthy. He just wanted to say hey. He wanted oh, to know if he super. missed the legs shaving, and I you, told him he did. He sure he did. did. Yeah. Sorry, Phil. But here, Phil, you can uh, you can bask in my smooth, smooth goodness, Phil. Rub them just for you, big guy. Oh, there's a little blood. All right, success. Hot. I mean, I don't even remember this scar. Hot. Like, this sucker is four inches. What's that kind of? Said, Pat, there's blood. Yes. And there's the scar from when I got hit in the knee or hit in the shin with a, a three skier and a, when, I was, when I was sliding with the Boy Scouts back in like 1986. Does, does this involve ginger beer? Nope. I got ginger beer. <laughs> sliding with the Boy Scouts. Hit and run. All right. Shall we, uh, shall we move on, please? I guess. Is there anything? There's nobody <laughs> else. Uh, the, the list well, what do you over. guys? What do you guys want to get for uh, for Christmas? Oh, we should talk. Nothing. About that. I canceled Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you're the I'm Grinch. <laughs> you're getting a stock. Yeah, but it's not for Christmas. A stock? A stocking? No, an oh, X twenty two stock. Oh. Let me think about it. Yeah. What do I? I already know what I want. I know what I want for Christmas. What I know what I want. Too. Matthew, what do you want? For I want Christmas? an XCR. XCRL. Hmm. I'm not going to get one, but I want one. <laughs> Jill? Actually, no. I changed my mind. I want the new varmint uh, hunter. The uh, uh, modern yeah, modern varmint, yeah, mar- modern hunter varmint version. Really? The, yeah. It, that over an uh, XC. I mean, if I'm getting it for free, I mean, if it's Christmas, I want I want that one. It's yeah, more it's AR-like. Huh? You got a load. You got a load for it. It's got a match grade barrel in it and stuff. But I mean, if you're only going to use it for hunting, you're going to load your loads anyway. Yeah. But it wouldn't double very good as a three gun rifle throwing like IVI through it because. They they'll tell you right on their website this this requires match grade ammo or it's not going to run reliably. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you can't just like chuck cheap stuff through it for matches and then the good stuff through it for hunting. You but could, you but you really wouldn't want to because it's uh-huh. like a like I don't know what the prices are these days, but the you know the the king and dollar being where it is, it's probably like what four or five grand now. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Really? I wouldn't I wouldn't be throwing that in barrels. It can't be that much already, Adriel. It was thirty two last year. It was thirty two. Was that last year? That was yeah, last year. Yeah, it was the same price I paid for my Tanfoglio, and I was like, I would never spend that much on a rifle while I'm holding my Tanfoglio. <laughs> mm. You should Surf. always shave your legs. You know, they look great. I know it's very shiny. Oh, they're listing a thirty three hundred dollars for for a minimum. So there you go. Yeah. All right, Ma- uh, Matthew, are you all done with what you wanted for Christmas? Sure. Let's toss in a case of ammo. We'll be good. Okay. Good. Who's up next? You are. I am. Uh. Oh, you know, if I'm not paying for it, I'll get one of those uh, Lynxes in uh, 50 BMG. That semi-auto bullpup thing that has like a telescoping barrel and whatnot. Yeah, I'll get one of those. It's 15 cool. grand, but... 15, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Jump change. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't really need anything. Uh, I'm going to change my hunting rifle in the spring here. Um, oh, ooh, can I change mine? Stuff. I want an A17 with a glass bedded stock from Boyd's. Nice. You son of a... <laughs> is that what you were going to say? Uh-huh. I win. Uh, because I got it, because I said it first, and everything's in competition. Uh, I don't know. Do I need a new pistol? No, the FNS is fine. Uh, Glock all the way. Do I need a new shotgun? Uh, I, oh, shotgun barrel. I want a 24-inch Stoger shotgun barrel in the worst way. There. <laughs> that's that's my like real Christmas like wish list. Uh, it's not going to happen, but maybe it'll happen in the spring. Maybe they'll bring one in for me. I asked them many times. I bug them like every three months or so. I send them an email. How long is the one you got now? Uh, 28. Oh, just too long. C- cut four inches off. Uh, yeah. that they, they, can't, they can't tap them for chokes, and I want to be able to run a choke in it. Why can't they tap them for chokes? Because it's too thin at 24 inches. Ooh, that sucks. Maybe I could tap. Maybe I could cut it to twenty-four inches and then just use some hammers and just bash yes. it in from yes. the corners. Yes, and that'll act as like a choke. Yes, and if you bash them in square, you get like a square pattern. Awesome for those square <laughs> targets. That's what yes. you need. Yep, 
I could do the duck bill where it's like like squished yes. down like that and it yes. hits your pattern like that. Yeah, yeah. That's really good in some video games. So I'm sure it'll be good in real life. It's probably on, good uh, in real life too. Yeah, yeah. So I could always do that. Trevor, what do you want? Um. Well, I yeah, I would have said the. Um... Get off your phone. Yeah, Trevor. Maybe, I, I, would I would have... say you need a safe because you just got pistols like hanging around on your table there. Do you want a safe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I actually, I am in dire need of another safe now that the five nine or the nine thirty is here and the TAC twenty one is back. And I said that to Christina. Never tell your wife you need another safe because that implies you bought more guns. So I'm like, <laughs> I need another safe. She goes, Why? The number of guns you have hasn't increased, has it? Uh, no, so, they just got bigger. They're on, yeah. not on a very good diet. They've been eating too much. <laughs> exactly. No, they, they multiply in there, the little buggers. So if like you feed rats. them after midnight and get them wet, wow. So, um, realistically, like if I was going to open up gun related stuff under the tree on Christmas morning, I think right now it would be just reloading components, uh, more primers, um, some reloading like tools, What I really, 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 really want right now. The next thing on my wish list for my reloading room is the RCBS case master. So it's a tool that allows you to measure, um, thickness of the wall for your neck, uh, detect whether you've got incipient head separation occurring, uh, possibly oh, and bullet run out. So yeah, I want one of those so that I could now sort things accordingly after they're uh, they're set up. I'm turning necks, and I want to make sure that I've got a, a you know a batch of brass that have the necks all turned to the same thickness. So RCBS case master. Cool. Hmm. All right. And an XTR LN300 blackout. <laughs> XCR block. Throw that and one in there. Kim Crosno would tell it says, "Tell me what you want. We do really, really want." And I think he's saying it with, uh, you know, uh, a the British accent, spice, a British spice female girls. accent. Yeah, I don't get Tell it. me what you want. Buddy. That's because you girls. listened to good music in the nineties. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's talking about the A twenty two twenty two LR wrapped up and under the tree for himself. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. So, Any other yeah. comments there? from the listeners before we move on to the next thing? No, Mario Mario wanted to know when SummerSlam was opening up, so I told him it was January 9th. So Correct. We're good. Good to go. Awesome. Matthew, All did right. you want to read this email from Brian? Sure. Hello, ladies. I think he's talking to you, Trevor. <laughs> Obviously. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> move this uh, leg. Hi, Brian. <laughs> he says, just drop my list into the stack for all to hear in case anyone wanted to Amazon Wait. me a few items. What happened? Who, who's messing with the audio? That's me. It sounds like Some, somebody broke their audio. Hello. Hang on. Oh, hi. Mike it's is coming uh, in for a landing. So, Trevor, since you're shaving your legs, what's going on? I figured on? you could use some serious help. What? What's <laughs> happening? Everybody. I got, I got a little extra equipment for you. <laughs> is that Mike? It's Mike. <laughs> It's Mike Islin from uh, the Reloading Guys. Hi, guys. Yeah, hi, Mike. <laughs> Looks like you need Mike. some help, Mike. He's, uh, he's trying to start a weed trimmer. Put the choke on, Mike. Use the choke. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. There. Oh. So, so oh, for the listeners who are listening and not seeing, Mike Inslin, the host of the Reloading Podcast. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> there we go. Oh. That's a hedge That's trimmer. A Mike, I appreciate the support, but the legs are already finished, big guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm not. Sure. I saw that. I've been popping in on the. Uh, on the. But uh, I've been popping in on the show. It's awesome that you're willing to try and help shave yeah. my legs with a chainsaw, though. I appreciate that. Well, you know, we try and help. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a giving man. Yes. Oh, that's hilarious. And the good news is I hear a lot of people looking for reloading equipment, so that's a good thing. There really yeah, are, yeah. Absolutely. Um, a lot of podcasts have been crashed before, but I don't think one's ever been crashed with a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, we know. We try to be original. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, original. when you're talking about Trevor's legs, you kind of need a chainsaw to get through that hair. Oh, it only took me three blades. Which isn't bad, really. No, not bad at all. All right, you're going to hang blades. out, Mike, while we carry on? Sure, I can hang out for a bit. All right. All right. Where are we? Brian's email. Yeah, I was reading Brian's email, so let me get back to that. He says, uh, just dropping my list into the stack for all to hear in case anyone wanted to Amazon me a few items. First, I need a new flashlight. 
My 800 lumen quark needs an upgrade. I'm thinking a Surefire P3X Fury with the 1000 lumen would do. Probably dual mode illumination would be fine since it isn't a fighting specific light. Of course I'll need a Thrime switchback for that as well, so snag me a few uh, cell vault while you're on the site because I'm sure I'll need the extra batteries uh, dry and easily packed away. If you don't like the Thrime and wanted to get me a Raven light ring instead, I'll be okay with that too. But if you were there, snag me a few mag carries for the PPQ. One last thing I need this upcoming year is a good plate carrier and some plates. I'm thinking something along the lines of velocity systems, but anything will do when it comes to working in shoot houses. Now, enough about me. For you, I have decided on a few ideas for the listeners to gift you as well. Oh, how nice. He came up with our own lists for us. All right. Yeah, he did. Matthew, for you, I wish you one of those homing beacons that people use on expeditions to far away and unknown places. With your new hobby of flying and hunting, I'm always waiting for a show to, shar- uh, a show to start with. Welcome to Slamfire Radio. It's been four episodes, and still no Matthew. <laughs> Frosty, for you, I hope a listener sends in some old Jeff Foxworthy CDs so you can study up on exactly how to say Koshokton with a solid redneck enunciation. You're doing it right when it sounds like, sure, ker <laughs> Trevor, of all the striker guns out there and you have yet to pick up the PPQ, I hope someone gifts you one so you can stop wasting time with subpar striker guns and get the only one that matters. If you don't get a PPQ in 2017, I'm going to have to say our Snapchat relationship is over <laughs> And I'm telling everyone about how you ask for photos of me appendix carrying. <laughs> it just seems like those are the only ones he has available to share. <laughs> <laughs> and for Kelly, what more can I ask for than for you to get another trip down to see me and we can race to the bottom of a bowl of salsa at a crappy Mexican restaurant because the power is out in the entire town except for this one restaurant while Kevin sits beside you just thankful we aren't in Michigan and he didn't lose his Jeep to terrible road conditions and bad Google directions. Now that's a good story. Yeah. As a group, I hope to. Uh, I hope you all receive some Valkyrie Defense Group gift certificates. Seriously. I hope to see you all on the range sometime, and each of you have a safe shooting year ahead. Thanks to or thanks for all you do and all the laughs on a weekly basis. Love, Brian Sheets from the Valkyrie Defense Group. So I talked to Brian about uh, his the PPQ quite often, and I when I was in Fredericton on the weekend, filth era the Squire showed up with the latest call, copy of Caliber magazine. And they did a quick piece on the latest Walther PPQ, the Q5, which yep. is a um, kind of a production division specific IPSC pistol that has complete serrations on the slide. Uh, apparently, they've improved the trigger and they've made it uh, optic ready, where you change, take the plate off the back and um, screw down a red dot. So I'm thinking this is, you know, the perfect. Uh, three gun pistol because it doesn't have a bunch of bells and whistles hanging off of it. You can still put it in a retention holster and the uh, red dot won't be in the way. So because like my rifle is usually in open, all I have to shoot in open because you just, if one of your guns is in open, normally you get put to open regardless of your shotgun and your pistol. So now I could run uh, a red dot on that thing in three gun matches and take it off and put the rear sight back on for uh, Ipsic if I ever want to run an Ipsic. So Definitely something I'm looking into uh, in the uh, in the new year. That's the cool. Q5 match. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's just the one I'm showing to everyone here. Awesome. Boop boop boop. It's got boop, a blue boop, trigger. Boop. Cool. It's pretty neat. Oh, I don't want to. Pretty. All right. I don't know if it's pretty, Kelly, but it's. Uh, that's pretty. You know, Come on. Pretty it's manly. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. pretty. Uh, finally, let's get on to. Uh, oh, I guess that was listener feedback. That wasn't was it. it. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, done. It. Brian, no wait, Mike, Mike. Uh, his, yep. he's muted. Oh, there, there you go, there you go. Mike. Uh, what do you want Still for there? Christmas, man? Um, too late. Next. Yep. <laughs> See, it was too long to decide. <laughs> Got to be something reloading related. Well, yeah. Um, 
I guess what I'd really like to have is uh, one of those nice new uh, vibratory primer feeders that uh, Jim just got for the Dylan and the Hornaday. Yes, yes. Oh. For loading your primer uh, pockets, or your uh, loading your primer tubes, right? Yep. Without having to load them into by hand. Well, that's cool. Yep. Mm. Yeah, loading oh, them yeah. by hand is uh, a bit of a pain. Not that bad, yeah. but still a bit well, of a pain. Yeah, that's why I have five tubes. I load them all up, and then that's usually enough for one night. Five hundred rounds of reloading is good. That's quitter talk. <laughs> five hundred rounds is just getting warmed up. Yeah. Well, maybe we know how I got my carpal tunnel, all jokes aside. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, if you'd like to email the show, send an email to slamfireradio at gmail.com. Uh, there are no iTunes reviews. If you want to review us on iTunes, uh, go log on to iTunes and uh, go through the arduous uh, steps of signing up for that and uh, leave us a rating there. Helps uh, helps people find us uh, within that system and for people to subscribe to the show. I don't know. Does Google Play have a rating system? I didn't see one in there. I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't seen one. I yeah. don't really look, though. Neither do I. I use uh, oh. Pocket Cast, so I haven't really used Google Play too much, but maybe in the future. Um, yeah, so if you if you leave us a review on iTunes, leave a five-star rating. We've got, we've got 144 five-star reviews so far, 111 from Canada, 30 from the U.S., one Australian, one from the U.K., one from Lithuania, and one from Belgium. And again, thank you to everyone who already has left us a review. Uh, shout out to any for everyone. I have. Can I start? Too late. You already did. Yeah. All right. Good. So to all our listeners, but in particular to everybody who donated to the uh, fund that we were actually raising money for, Almost Home, we raised five hundred and thirty-five dollars so far. You guys. Sweet. Cool. Yeah. Really. So Patrick G, Tracy W, uh, Filthy, Jason T. John F, uh, Rick K, Wes S, uh, Brian B, Larry C, Stacy P, uh, Brenda W, Morgan S, Will B, uh, Thomas, aka Mr. Uzi, uh, Steve, Stephen Casey, uh, yeah, five hundred and thirty-five dollars, you guys. That's awesome and amazing. And there's going to be some people that are going to have a very merry Christmas because of you. So thank you. Indeed. Yeah, and everybody else, merry Christmas. Awesome. Yeah. Other uh, shoutouts, guys. I had one. It, it's it gone, but uh, I have one that just popped in, uh, and that will be to Etienne Cote, uh, president of X-Mental Targets. He is going to make me a dealer for X-Mental Targets for the province of New Brunswick. So in the new year, nice. I will be selling X-Mental ammo and projectiles. Excellent. Cool. How is he yeah. doing, by the way? Uh, well, he's still mostly all in one piece. Um I haven't seen any recent photographs of him. What Kelly's talking about is he blew his arm out to hamburger with a 50 BMG that uh, detonated out a battery. Just kind of ruined his day. So, yeah. So, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. I got got a shout out for Mike for coming on and, uh, you know, (laughs) running a hedge trimmer. (laughs) That was a chainsaw. I went to a hedge trimmer. Wasn't that a hedge trimmer? It was a hedge trimmer. It was, it was a hedge, hedge trimmer. Oh, yeah. Trevor doesn't right. know his hedge trimmers from his chainsaws. <laughs> well, I, maybe I trim hedges with chainsaws. Maybe there's you nothing do. wrong with that. It's much more efficient. There you go. But try cutting a tree down with a hedge trimmer, and you're not going to have a good day. That's uh, not better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Exactly. Did you just make that up? No. Oh, huh. Confucius. A, is that Confucius? I'm confused. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Some guy. Right. Some yeah. guy. Any other shadows, guys? Nope. All right. Let's go. Why don't we why don't we just say a Merry Christmas to everybody, you know? Well no, we're gonna do that at the end. We? I'm making we're... it awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Thanks for listening, everyone. It's awkward. We're shutting her down. <laughs> yeah. And on that awkward moment, good night. No. <laughs> it's not good night yet. We've still got a little bit left left to go here. What do you we're mean? Almost yeah. there. We're almost Andrew there. All right, Patreon supporters, we don't have any new. We've got pa- Patrick G., Howard T., Brian B., Dave J-, J., Michael B., Clayton G., Robert K., Colin H., Dave Z., Mr. Uzi, a.k.a. Thomas, Morgan S., Jason P., Dalton H., Jonathan S., Tyler A., Richard D., Rob B., Thomas S., Chad G., Kevin L., Ryan B., Adrian R., Mike R., Mark P., Justin D., Miss Stacy, Spencer C., Byron A., and James B., 
uh, please uh, join one of, one of our national firearms associations, such as the CCFR, the CSSA. Uh, check us out on Gunners of Canada. We've got a little uh, uh, thread over there that you can like our posts and comment and that kind of thing. Like us on Facebook. We're at 1,591 likes. We've got 116 thumbs up, 26 gold stars and counting, a brace of little penguin flippers, wings, that kind of thing, two flukes, four manatee flippers, two kangaroo thumbs, one safe space, one HK logo, two th hobbit thumbs, five duck bills, two squirrel nuts, two honks, two 1911 triggers, an ace of spades, a cartridge in a pear tree, and a pheasant in a pine tree. Cool. Now everyone say goodnight. And good night, good night, everyone. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> No, no, Hello. Everybody, Merry Goodbye. Christmas. Hello. And Adriel, <laughs> Matthew, and Trevor, I hope you guys have a great Christmas. I hope so too. You yeah, too. I hope I do too. <laughs> yeah, I hope you do too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. 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 Good night Mike. Good night. And those are lovely legs. Good night, guys. I don't know. <laughs> so if you have any comments or questions for the show, please send an email to slamfireradio at gmail.com. Now go grab a gun and shoot something. When the talking is over, it's time to get a gun.